So what is up you guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Brie Monet. In today's video, we are going to be doing yet another Amazon wig, but this time from Beauty Forever. This wig is in 18 inches, it's Brazilian body wave, and it's also a fate scalp closure. So I will say this, I was playing around with it, so this is what it looks like right now after I was playing around with it, but I'm running my hands through it, there's no shedding. So the part where you see the material, that is where the fake scalp is. And then of course you have the three combs, one in the back and two on the sides. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just take my Nairobi hair mousse and I'm just gonna put that on both sides and make sure I'm pushing my hair back so this way my hair can actually lay flat. So now all I'm doing is just taking out some hair so I could create some baby hair. And just a disclaimer, I ran out of storage when I was recording the first time so this is why the wig kinda looks like I already did stuff to it because I technically did. So I'm just basically doing the wig over again so you guys can actually see what I did. So now I'm just going to take my hot comb and I'm just going to push back my hair. And y'all, when you are using a hot comb, please be careful because I actually had a hot comb accident. I burnt myself really bad. If you're going to do it on your head, just really be careful because it was not a fun experience. Then I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and start cutting my baby hair. I really would suggest to you guys start longer than you think that you should because you don't want to cut the baby hair too short. Don't just straight up cut them like straight across. Um, your natural baby hair goes on an angle, so you want to cut on an angle. Next, I took some tweezers. All you're going to do is one, two, three, move on. One, two, three, move on. You do not want to stay in one section for too long because you will take out too much hair and it will not look right. So that is the method that I use. In my opinion, I feel like doing this creates a difference for your wig. And then I'm just going into the baby hair because I felt like it was too much hair right there. And that's all I did. Next, I'm just going to take my flat iron. And what you want to do is you want to start from the base of the wig. Make sure you are rolling forward. And as you're rolling forward, take the piece of hair, flip it over, and make sure you are holding that piece of hair in place as you are curling the hair. So don't just drop the curl, make sure you're actually rolling the flat iron all the way up. Hold it for 10 seconds and then you can let go, but make sure you're holding it in your hand and you're going to clip it so this way it can cool down and can still keep that curl. And this is the curl that you should get. I'm just going to take some gossipy glue and I'm going to put that in a section of where I'm going to put my wig down. And I'm also going to add some free spray on top of that just to ensure that my wig doesn't lift. So I know I look mad crazy picking it up like that, but you want to be extra careful when you're placing the wig down on the glue. Next, I'm just going to take my blow dryer to make sure everything is dry and nothing is going to lift because we do not want that. So I'm just going to make sure I'm switching from hot to cold um, every like five seconds. So I saw that I had some Gatsby glue stuck in my baby hair. So I just used some water to reactivate the glue. And this way I can swoop my baby hair however I want to. And it actually really worked out for me. Next, I'm just going to take some concealer and I'm just going to put it in a T-shape. You guys are going to see what I'm talking about. But you're going to put it in your middle part and you're going to put it in between the baby hair and your hairline. Okay, guys. So all I did was just take my flexi rods out. I didn't show that part. So with a flexi rod... You just take a section of the hair, like I'm going to take just a random section. And what I do is for the back pieces, I flip them on the front, just like so. You roll them up and then you cross them. Front pieces, I actually put like, I'm not going to do it because then I'm going to ruin it, but I put it underneath. The only reason why I put it underneath is because I want like this swoop right here. But yeah, this is the final product. Um, first of all, I feel really weird because of my new recording space. I changed my whole entire room around. I put the bed like in the corner and now I just kind of like looking at myself, I kind of feel weird because I'm not like near my vanity. I'm literally in the middle of my floor recording. For one, I was taking mad pictures and videos. Like I got so many DMs from you guys talking about some, oh my God, who did your sewing? Like nah, baby girl, this is a wig. And she's really cute too. First of all, the hair is really soft. Um, I think the only thing that I was more um, on the fence about when I was first doing the wig is these little, I can't, 
I don't know if you guys can see, but it's like the lace piece that sticks up. You would definitely have to cover that with your baby hair or with like a swoop or something. But putting some curls into her is definitely in the move because she is definitely really, really cute. Oh, by the way, y'all, I also have some stuff I want to show you guys because I just got it. Because before I forget, I'm going to leave all her information um, in the description box down below because I thought this was so cute. It's like a self-defense package. So I have my guy sister right here and then I have me. But the puff came with it. The lip gloss came with it. The lanyard came with it. Um, this, is, this right here is mine. Um the cat ears came with it and the pepper spray came with it too i'm definitely looking for a taser or like a. um she also has like these comb knives which is a comb that turns into a knife and i'm looking forward to it because i really want like a mini taser or a taser in general me and my mother both want one so i just want to basically give her a shout out because it was really nice for her to you know give that to me i just really wanted to share that with you guys but anyway back to the wig the only thing that you cannot do with this wig is basically you know have this exposed so you have to you know have something covering the sides i think for beginners if you're learning how to like customize um wigs this will be perfect for you because you're working with such a little section versus you buying a whole lace front and totally butchering it so i kind of think that this is like beginner friendly before i went in and customized it it wasn't that bad before the customization but um it wasn't to my liking like it didn't give me like oh that's her scalp type vibes it gave me like no sweetie that's a wig that's definitely a wig i didn't want that so <laughs> like i said before if you guys need help on customizing your wigs i could definitely do a separate video just on that um like how to pluck the wig um i don't bleach my knot i just kind of put foundation on my lace and i keep it pushing um i never really had to bleach the knots especially with this you don't have to bleach anything it is a fake scalp um like i said before in my previous video when i did wear a fake scalp for a, a different wig um this is beginner friendly because you don't have to do a ball cap method or anything like that you could just literally put it on glue it down and then you are free to go um one thing that i did see when i was curling my hair um, I started seeing like, I don't know if it was just my wig or whatever the case may be, but I started seeing like green strings and red strings in my hair and I don't know where it was from. Of course I cut it out, but I was just like, where did that appear from? But I think the big plus for me was it was easy to curl. Me, I haven't curled a wig at all because I was scared. And this actually came out really, really cute and I've been wearing this since eight in the morning. And that's when I was curling it and putting it on. And it is now maybe about 5 o'clock. And I've had it down since then and my curls are still up there. And it has nothing in it. I didn't put anything in the hair. This is just the hair itself. And this is how long the hair is on me. I hope y'all can see this. Pull. <laughs> so it's to my, almost to my back. It's like right here, y'all. I don't know if you can see that. Like right here when I pull it so when I straighten it that's how long it's gonna be so probably like to my mid back so y'all already know if I had to rate this from 1 to 10 I would definitely rate this a 10 I see nothing wrong with this wig at all I don't have to put in extra work to make sure everything is like you know tacked down I just have to worry about this part so thank you guys so much for watching make sure you check out the description box down below if you're looking to purchase this wig and check out my amazon storefront make sure you like comment subscribe and i will see you guys in my next video bye